Federal Express is scheduled to release its fiscal third quarter results tomorrow. Declining fuel prices are expected to help its bottom line. And so are some recent changes to its pricing strategy. And it's not just FedEx that's focusing on shipping rates, but also rival UPS. Morgan Brennan has more. This holiday season, UPS will do away with discounts it offered customers on some oversized packages. That, according to the Wall Street Journal. Changes in shipping rates that could mean higher prices for consumers. UPS is not confirming that plan, but the company does say it's looking to meet customers' needs while, quote, also ensuring UPS is appropriately compensated for the valuable services we provide. It all sheds light on a strategy shift underway at the delivery giant, one much more focused on pricing. It seems to be is, is initiating more of a pricing strategy where it's going after some of its retail customers and looking to price up some business, particularly the e-commerce business, which has been a bit of a headwind to it. Since the start of the year, both UPS and FedEx have raised rates and introduced pricing formulas for ground packages based on a combination of size and weight. UPS has also said it's considering shipping surcharges for the upcoming holiday season. Couple that with a growing focus on multi-channel retailing or delivering packages to local stores for consumers to pick up, a process that's three times less costly than home delivery. And analysts say parcel carriers, particularly UPS, are looking to maximize their shipping capacity and boost margins, even if it means turning down some business. Now that may sound obvious, but it represents a big challenge given how tight capacity has been and how narrow returns typically are on e-commerce shipments. The new strategy is already beginning to play out with UPS, but also with FedEx, which experts say has been taking the lead on higher pricing. Our expectations are that FedEx will continue to push on pricing throughout the rest of this calendar year and into the holiday season as well. With UPS now supporting that, those pricing initiatives, we actually think there's a lot more momentum for both of the small package carriers, and ultimately retailers are going to bear more of the cost of shipping as we move towards the holiday. UPS also announced the acquisition of Parcel Pro, a logistics company specializing in shipments of valuable jewelry and collectibles. Another move to help manage growing e-commerce demand. But as parcel carriers attempt to realize higher returns, other companies are upping the competition. For example, Amazon, which is reportedly considering paying ordinary people, rather than the carriers, to drop off packages en route to other destinations. For a Nightly Business Report, I'm Morgan Brennan.